This video is going to show how to efficiently move components with new features in ORCAD X Presto Professional 24.1. During the design process, design changes can require components to be moved to optimize space, shorten connections, or improve the layout. If the circuit has already been routed, the traces connected to the affected component will need to be moved as well. ORCAD X Presto now includes a variety of features to make moving components easier and more efficient. Start by opening the provided design in ORCAD X Presto Professional 24.1. This design has 3D DRC errors that can be corrected by moving the connectors. Activate movement by selecting the Move mode from the toolbar. The Move widget opens to show the options available for moving a component, including Trace Connection Mode, Origin Adjustment, and Alignment Guides. Select Slide for the Trace mode to slide traces connected to the affected components. Let's start by moving this connector down here. Click the connector in its leftmost pin to attach it to your cursor. Move your cursor around. The traces are automatically adjusted to keep the connector routed. Note the two sets of coordinates. One set shows the original position of the connector at the point at which it was selected. The other shows the position the connector will be placed with the cursor in its current location. Let's use the alignment guides to make component placement even more precise. In the Move widget, enable the option for alignment guides. A magenta outline appears around the component. Check the option for place bounds to align the component by the placement boundaries of the other components on the board. For this example, we'll align the connector with the right edge of IC1 and the top edge of the middle capacitor and the array to the right as shown here. Click to place the connector. The traces were adjusted, but they now create a shorting DRC error. To fix this, select the slide mode from the toolbar. Click a trace segment to attach it to your cursor. Adjust the trace and click again to place it. Adjust the traces to clear the shorting DRCs. If a component has critical traces, such as differential pairs, or is being moved to a completely different section of the board, it may make more sense to use the rip up mode. The rip up mode can be used to remove all traces. Select the Move mode from the toolbar, and in the Move widget, select Rip Up for Traces. Let's move the USB connector next. Select the center of the connector to attach it to your cursor. Click to place the connector where the coordinates read approximately 20 and 46. We can place this connector with even more precision by entering the desired location. In the Absolute XY display mode, the coordinates shown when moving a component are absolute with respect to the design origin. Select the connector again and press Tab to edit the coordinate text fields. Enter 20 for the X coordinate and 46 for the Y coordinate. The connector is placed and detached automatically. Components with strict location requirements should be locked as soon as they are placed to prevent accidental adjustment. Click the Lock button in the Properties panel to lock the component in place and click anywhere in the canvas to deselect it. Select the Move mode again if it was deselected and select the Slide mode for traces. Select Relative for the XY display and enable the option for Move Origin. The Pick Relative Origin option is enabled. Select it and click the right pin of capacitor C9. The origin is shown on the Move widget. Select the capacitor to attach it to your cursor. Press Tab and enter 0 for DX and 3 for DY. Press Enter to move the capacitor. The capacitor is moved up 3 millimeters, but its connection to IC1 remains intact. To finish the move mode, choose Select in the toolbar or press Escape on the keyboard. Quickly and efficiently move components with a variety of new features in ORCAD X Presto. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.